Hey it's Bay, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Faber-Castell Grip 2011 fountain pen. This pen currently goes for about $20. You can get it in 3 colors, black, silver, and blue. You can also get it in 3 different nib sizes, medium, fine, and extra fine. I'll put a link in the description to where you can purchase this fountain pen if you're interested. I reached out to Faber-Castell and they sent me three of their Grip 2011 fountain pens in three different colors and three different nib sizes. They also sent me a pack of six ink cartridges, a pack of five converters, and a bottle of their Royal Blue ink. So thank you very much for sending these products out for me to check out. The boxes that these pens come in are very nice for the price. Inside, you just get the pen itself. Inside the pen, you get an ink cartridge which is great if you're just getting started. Faber-Castell also has a ballpoint pen and a mechanical pencil version of the Grip 2011 if you're interested in those. However, we'll be focusing on the fountain pen version in this video. The Grip 2011 is a light pen for its size. I don't know the exact weight of the pen, so you'll just have to take my word for it. It has a very subtle triangular design, but it's very subtle, and the same goes for the grip. The grip is, well, grippy, and it has that soft-touch plastic feel to it. There are dots that run along the body of the pen that gives you extra grip. The cap is a snap cap and you hear a very satisfying click whenever you cap or uncap the pen. It's also friction fit when you post the pen and the cap stays on securely when the pen is posted. The cap adds a lot of length to the pen. I can already write comfortably unposted but posting the cap is great if you have larger hands. The clip is very sturdy but it just has the right amount of flex to it. The Faber-Castell converters are great. The twisting action is very smooth and they have these little ink agitators on the inside which is great. Faber-Castell says that the Grip 2011 fountain pen fits standard cartridges and standard converters, so I'm assuming that this is the standard international converter. Please correct me if I'm wrong though. Now here's a writing test with the pens. I want to apologize for the very bad handwriting. Anyways, the first one that I showed you here is the medium nib. Next is the fine nib. The paper that I'm using is not anything special. This journal is actually from Walmart, but it is pretty fountain pen friendly. I got it for about $6 which is a good deal in my opinion. And last, this is the extra fine nib. I tend to have smaller handwriting so I think the smaller nib sizes work the best for me. Of course, if you have larger handwriting, I suggest you go with a larger nib size. This isn't a review of the Faber-Castell Royal Blue Ink, but they did send me a bottle to check out so I want to talk about it for a little bit. This is my very first bottle of any blue fountain pen ink believe it or not, and I'm liking it so far. The feature that stood out to me the most about this ink is the drying time. This ink dries really fast which is great if you're always busy and don't have time to wait on the ink to dry. This also looks like a pretty standard blue which won't stand out that much which is good if that's what you're going for. Overall, the Faber-Castell Grip 2011 fountain pen is totally worth it in my opinion. It's a great feeling fountain pen that's great to write with for the price. The grips on the grip itself and on the body of the pen is great and it might just improve your handwriting. I highly recommend picking one or more of these pens up and if you do, you should pick up some converters and ink while you're at it if you don't have some already. I'll put some links in the description if you're interested. That was my video review of the Faber-Castell Grip 2011 fountain pen. If you found this video useful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell so you get a notification every time I upload. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!